18 months. Yeah. You were diagnosed and you said it's juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, which is it's not all it's a lot of words that don't go together (laughs) right (laughs) yeah so we wish they didn't yeah explain what is that um and what what does that look like what does that mean so juvenile rheumatoid arthritis which now i believe they call juvenile idiopathic arthritis um is or jra when i was diagnosed now it's called jia it's um an autoimmune disease where there is something happening in your body that causes your immune system to overreact and it attacks your own body. Mm. And where it attacks is in your joints. Mm. So what arthritis does is very simply, it eats away at the cartilage in your joints. And once all of that's gone, it can also start to impact the bone. Mm -hmm. Um, And so eventually you lose your range of motion. If you lose all your cartilage, it's bone on bone. So if you have a joint like this, um, your joints are rubbing together to move, Mm -hmm. right? Um, You lose all the cartilage or cushion between your bones. And then eventually it's bone on bone and your bone starts to wear and tear Mm -hmm. um, from grinding. Mm -hmm. And so eventually for me, what that means is my joints just stopped moving. Mm. So um, early on when I was in the like four years old to eight years old range, they would go in kind of frequently and do a surgery called an arthroscopy, which is where they go into the joint and just kind of clean out all of the um, scar tissue from the disease because it's that is also restricting your movement. Mm. And that's a very, now I think it's very like, done very differently. So I think it's very minimally invasive. Mm -hmm. Um, But they would just go in through a, you know, create a hole and go in and clean it out. So that's where Mm -hmm. my original scars came from that are on my knees. I have three on each knee from back then from arthroscopic surgeries. Mm. And to be so young and deal with such an unusual disease, disease, right? Yes. Um, Such an unusual disease. And then all the medical procedures that come with that, there's a lot to unpack as a kid with that for sure. Yes. Um, And then to have scars, which is another thing, you know, as a human, it can be hard to have scars, especially until you get to a point in life where other people have scars and you realize we are all scarred up. Our cars have (laughs) dents in them. But it's really hard when you're the car with the dent before everybody else. It's (laughs) embarrassing. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Um, So what was that part like? not just going through the medical experience, but then having the visual um, representations of that experience. Yeah, so the medical experience itself um, has evolved significantly since I was a child. I grew up in Charlotte, so I'm a native, which is unicorn. And then um, when I was young and I was diagnosed, I was diagnosed at 18 months because I wasn't, I was trying to crawl, but I couldn't. And I was like pulling myself with my arms on the floor and my knees started to swell. So my knees were really the first place where inflammation was starting. Um, I was diagnosed, but there were no pediatric rheumatologists in Charlotte. A rheumatologist is a person who sees people with um, joint inflammation. So I had to, my my family and I had to go to Duke or Carolina when other doctors from other states would do rounds through North Carolina, um, pediatric rheumatologists, we would have to go up there for the whole day and see everyone we could see in a day um, to continue to see what we could do Mm. for my disease. So my disease was really um, aggressive Mm. at that age because there wasn't much to do about it. It was back then very rare um and so it was a mystery Mm. i mean to be honest with you autoimmune diseases are still a mystery to today people cannot look at you and tell you why it's happening Mm. um so it's hard to figure out what the upstream you know what's going on what's the root causes you just treat symptoms Mm. so as a child i was kind of like a lab rat um a lot of experimentation with whatever we could try and see if, you know, I failed it, then we would try the next thing, Um, created a lot more medical things. So um, from some of the medication I was on, I I was actually in a coma for a while. It's a whole thing, right? So there's a lot of medical events that happened to me as a child.